Yo, what is up everyone? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So the first narrative event of Halo Infinite Season 4 has finally launched, and today we're going to cover what it exactly it offers, as well as some other new additions that they added that you may have not noticed. Now before we get into this, I do want to say that there is no cutscene unfortunately, as Sketch, I think sometime during the launch of Season 4 or beforehand, he did say that they're no longer going to be working on the story stuff, like the cutscenes and all that unfortunately, which is definitely a huge bummer. Anyways, moving along here, this event is called Hazmat. Let's go ahead and take a look at the event pass. So here's a free 10 tier event pass. On the first tier we got a weapon charm, on the second tier we got a utility item for the hazmat core. On the third tier we got a armor coating which has a bit of like green on it and some blue. On the fourth tier we got a chest piece for the hazmat core. On the fifth tier we got a helmet for the hazmat core which looks quite interesting. On the sixth tier we got a visor. On the seventh tier we got this moonbeam uh, helmet attachment. And then of course we got some shoulder pads which unfortunately still takes up two tiers. Um, but yeah that's about it. On the last thing we do have a stance which is called telemetry check. But other than that that's about uh, it for this event pass. Now let's take a look at the event mode which is called new arena unlimited. So they've done this before with season three where they just kind of showcase like the new maps and stuff that came along with this season. So of course this time around instead of uh, the previous season three maps we got the season four maps which is the new arena map forest and also a nice addition that I didn't really see coming is solitude which is supposed to be a forge remake of Halo 5's plaza. We'll talk more about that later and of course you could play various modes on there like slayer oddball there's even one flag and I believe some fiesta as well. Now let's take a quick look at this week's ultimate which I think is pretty funny because it's a clear reference to something and the ultimate challenge is called Mast Mass Effect um, and, it's, and it's basically just saying Mass Effect but um, yeah it's like a Mass Effect skin basically or weapon coating for your rocket launcher. And so the name of the coding itself is also phony. It's called Solarian Legend. Um, but yeah, I think the reference to, you know, obviously Mass Effect is pretty cool. The coding itself, um, I mean, it's not bad. I think it's okay. I, I would prefer it on a different weapon, but it doesn't look too bad. I just really like it because of the reference. It's just funny. So we got three new bundles. We got Second Chance, Splash Zone, and Scarlet Blend. But what's really cool is that there's a lot more bundles present in the shop now, so that's always nice. This is definitely what we needed. Alrighty, so now let's talk about the new map, Solitude. So Solitude is a Forge made map made by 343 themselves. It's supposed to be a remake of Halo 5's Plaza. Let's take a look at that real quick so you guys can get like a quick reference of what exactly, you know, this is sort of supposed to look like. So Halo 5's Plaza, it's basically just like a neon lit city you know there's lights everywhere there's a lot of noise i think there's even like a car or something that you can hear go by even sirens i believe which is really cool but yeah it's like a no noisy city and the layout for this map is just really fun i think it was definitely one of halo 5's best map and i think it was a perfect competitive map it was it's a really good map overall so yeah they remade this map into halo infinite with the forge tools of course they gave it a new aesthetic instead of it being like a neon lit city they went for more of a industrial kind of post-apocalyptic kind of feel is what it felt like but yeah I got to play several games on it and I had a lot of nostalgia which is kind of weird saying that because Halo 5 you know it's one of the more recent Halo titles but it's been that long which is crazy and so the cool part about this map is that they do have a Easter egg or Easter eggs that are on this map that people can find I haven't found any but if you guys remember on their last Forge remake, which was Empyrean, which was, a, which was a remake of Halo 3's Pit, that one had a little Easter egg on it where it had like a sandwich hero guy. So they did the same thing on this map, Solitude, except, you know, I don't know what the Easter egg is. But uh, if you have found it, let me know. I am very curious for people who are wondering why exactly they create their remakes like this instead of like actually making like an exact remake, the looks and everything. And yeah, they just say here from the outset, our philosophy with remakes is that we want to explore these familiar spaces with alternate themes. So they just want to do alternate themes. They don't want to create like an exact remake. I mean, the layout is basically almost the same, but they want to have like a new fresh paint on it, if that makes any sense. So the last thing I want to talk about today is the fact that Social Slayer actually got a cool new mode added today as well 
which definitely just adds on to uh, today's update, which is nice. And that is Mini Slayer, so you can play as a Mini Spartan now with huge weapons and slay each other. It's on various maps, it's in the Social Slayer playlist. It does kind of suck because you do just have to like, you know, you have to hope you get it. But if you want a chance to try it out, definitely go to the Social Slayer playlist and try to get in some. I played a few games on it and wow, it is incredibly hard. At least for me, I don't know how people were killing me so often. The footage I'm showing you guys right now, I was dying so much. I don't know how people are so accurate. So that about wraps up the hazmat event and I guess you could just say this update in general. Quite a few additions to the game. Overall, pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. And with that being said, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.